So now you're going to be allowed to look as you draw. So my recommendation is for every 10 seconds of drawing, you're allowed to look at your drawing for one second. And one second is a long time. So you should be pacing yourself, slowing yourself down to allow yourself to really keep your eyes on the subject and make some of those measurements, relationships. Remember about the joints, the bigger joint, shoulder, elbow, how, the, how this wrist and this shoulder almost fall on the same line. And if you follow that head, shoulder, wrist, knee, they're almost all on the same line. And how this wrist and this wrist this one's lower. All these, we're going to jumble in. Still focusing mostly and primarily on your negative space. Okay, so we're going to start again. Five minute clock. And where would I begin? So I'm going to talk you through somewhat what I'm looking at. I would generally do some of what I did last week, which was get a sense of my head, get a sense of the shoulder, Bring it out to the elbow and then to the wrist, just like that, to the knee. So getting a sense of proportions and how they would all align. So just a couple of clues to set me up on the page. I get a sense of the torso and I make a relationship between these two knees, which this one is higher. I get a little space between them. And I make a relationship between my ankles here. So getting a sense, this one's a little bit lower. And there's my... Here we are. So another thing we mentioned last week was marking where your top side are. And now that I have this, I have a good sense of proportion. Notice that it only took me a minute and a half, almost a minute 15, I guess, whatever. Uh, and now I can begin to focus on general shapes with the sense of proportion I'm gonna begin blind drawing where I mentioned 10 seconds I get a focus on my reference and one second to confirm on my paper so it's a 90 percent blind drawing I can begin to mark some lines inside the figure. No detail. And I do not want to take any shortcuts when I do my blind drawing. I'm going to get a sense of immediate negative spaces so I can deal with them right away. Squinting helps a lot, I should mention. When you're, when you're squinting at a negative space, it reveals itself even more to you, like the one I just did here. Somewhat the angle and the curves and the, and the sharp angles. But notice that I'm primarily focused on exterior line, no detail whatsoever. And how I read the contour of the shape. I could easily move from one side to the next. So I don't have to do all the way around like we did prior. I could actually move from here to here, get a sense of relationship between this and this. If that helps me, I could go ahead and move there and get some negatives, negative, draw, negative face drawing here. I could move a little bit smoother and looser without that confirmed line that we were doing before. But never losing sense of that negative space and how I could make it work for me. And this should begin to show you, hmm, because it's, in the end, it's up to you. Whatever is feeling easier for you to see should be your focus. 
Don't give up on it if it feels too hard right away. Negative space is, to me, without a doubt, one of the biggest tools to help you draw with way, way more ease. So it should be kind of built upon it. Trying to really give it extra emphasis, extra attention. And make it your own. In the end, it is about how do I use this and maybe create your own recipe. Just like we do with cooking. You know, we follow a recipe, but we add a little extra pinch of something. So that's the idea here. And right on time, I could go ahead and finish it there. So there we have it. So this is a five minute. And I'm going to call it a 90% blind. We are going to do two 10 minute drawings. Yeah, let's do this one. And I'm going to save one last one. I know we've done this before. So this one, I was saving for last, but we're going we're gonna to do it now. 10 minute, we have already a lot of information from before. And it's the same exercise. The only difference is you have double the time. So now it's a 10 minute Hopefully you can apply all the things we've been talking about. Start of the clock. And it is not exactly how I'm telling you to do it. You need to begin to, at this point, find, okay, which of these, which of these tools that we've been talking about, the negative space or the arranging of vertical, horizontal in space, looking for my proportions first, looking for the relationships, looking for some of the angles. And notice that I'm going with the same technique and it's one that I absolutely recommend. It is the way to go, finding your relationships. What I'm looking for here is, how does this elbow relate to this knee in terms of space and in terms of position? So the knees are definitely outside of it if I were to draw a straight line and they are exactly in line with this wrist so I have all these clues here that would probably place my knees right about here and I don't have to be absolutely exact I could shift this I could change it later on I think it's a little bit too far so we'll change it now and now I have an extra clue that places me right down here into the space where my ankle and remember visualizing a diagonal, a triangular line, I could see that they would run right almost through the other ankle. And then I could just add some inclination to the line, some diagonal, and I'll deal with the negative space as I did before. So this would be the setup for my drawing. Again, it takes about a minute, maybe a little longer. Maybe it takes you five minutes to set it up. Totally fine. What do I begin to look for next? There's many, many ways. There's one way I'm going to try now, which is I'm going to try to resolve the negative space in here first. Set myself up that way. So I'm going to start with placement of the elbow. I want to make sure I just confirm it once again. It almost looked in sync here. And I'm going to do a quick read, squinting of the distance and the drawing of my negative space. Checking my angle, giving it extra time in order to make a good read. Focusing just on this one little shape between the arm and the chest here. Making sure I have good read of the angles So they don't push a little too vertical, too horizontal. And they're yet simplified. They're not fully, fully developed as a precise shape as well. There's a nice little angle going on here. And this line should bring me straight down here. 
So I should be able to isolate this shape and compare it to what I see on screen. It somehow seems a little bit thicker, wider here. So I might make a couple corrections, pushing this a little bit further in. And why not? Using a little bit of that technique we used on the first one. Or I could just do that to my negative space. So I begin to see something interesting here. I'm going to move up or down. I could do both. Uh, easier would be to move up and find clues that would bring me into the second negative space between the hand, the arm, and the face. This is a very interesting angle we have here. So I want to give it a good check. Just double check it. Doing that negative space read and finding myself inside here. knowing that this line goes a little bit down and again focused on a very very simplified shape is the easiest way don't let yourself make up any information that is not there now that we know what it is it does tend to get a little harder to stay focused but there we have it so I'm pretty confident here to continue with the mapping and it is almost that it is kind of developing a map through the entire figure here so hopefully this tool helps you be more precise with your read for drawing but you have to remind yourself to stay focused on the things that you need to to do which is keep your eyes on your reference learn to identify what it is you are looking for and simplify it simplify it simplify it I'm not looking for any detail so I skip over just right here right into what I said, simple lines. Could get all caught up in the shape of this, but I won't because now I want a simple reading, this angle and the distance, bringing me right into my final negative shape here. Looking for the relationship between them. Getting a little sense of the relationship between them. And I'm talking about the one above, how they line up. We are at 2 minutes 30 seconds. Should give you a good sense of not rush, finish. No, that's not the idea. The idea is not to finish these. The idea is to take them as far as we can in the 10 minutes so they reveal what it is we are looking for, looking at, and how to improve some of the things that will make it more satisfying. This is a very nice simplified shape here. But sometimes, believe it or not, the simpler the shape, the more we can overlook it.
So it is that where we cut corners. You want to, you need to be the one catching yourself when you are cutting corners, when you're rushing, when you're not looking. Oh, and that was perfect. Good lining. So good reading here. I'm going to bring in a couple of lines just to resolve this area of the drawing a little bit better. Give it a sense of finished without rushing some of these lines that become very important and you can continue once you go into the figure all you do is isolate some of these lines and make whatever's outside of it the negative space so if I confused you I'll get into it a little more because we are going to, we still have two more weeks. And I have lots of these planned for you. And there we have it. Time.